Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Charlie Rose, and welcome back to another video on the channel, which is pretty similar to one of the last ones I did. It is another trailer reaction. I do realize I'm a couple of weeks late with this. Um, I've tried to avoid spoilers. I know some of the animals that we get, but not much else. I don't know the items, the clothing, the gameplay. I haven't seen any of it. So uh, the Sims 4 Cottage Living official reveal trailer. Uh, I'm excited. A lot of people have been asking for this. Um, me personally, I could live without farms. I don't really mind. But uh, I think it'll be a little bit of a fun adventure. So we're going to watch the trailer once through and then uh, I'll tell you my views. So uh, let's go. <laughs> What is this Disney oh. shit? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, I already love this. <laughs> Mrs. Crumble Bottom! <laughs> You can grow pumpkins? What is this? Available July 22nd. I, okay. <laughs> I have a lot to say. Uh, mainly good things, which is surprising for EA because, you know, we, we never usually get something good. This, to start off with, I realize this is just a bunch of base game stuff, but actually, you know what? Let's skip to, where was it? Where was it? Was it here? Was it here? This, if I can get it better quality. <laughs> That's as good as it's going to get. But this, if this is the world, this is absolutely stunning. I just w hope, I hope and pray that we can go through these places without a rabbit hole. It would kind of kill the experience to make uh, little entrances where there had to be a loading screen to each and every section. But if you can walk up to the waterfall and go to like maybe this little spiral bit down here and over here with the ruins, which it kind of looks like you can because there's Sims walking around these little bits but nobody up here i'm hoping you can go to the waterfall that would be amazing uh i don't know whether that's a new dress i feel like we've got something similar to this already in like strangerville i think anyway it, it's very that sort of style this little bunny <laughs> is the cutest thing i don't hate the mesh actually for him i think he's really cute with his little sweater he's got going on there uh, another look at the fashion that dress, really, really cute. I just hope that everyone in this world dresses like this because it would be pointless if not. But uh, that, that we've got that guy. The whole little market. It looks very much like an English town, kind of. We've got the uh, beautiful Mrs. Crumplebottom making a return. If you don't know who Mrs. Crumplebottom is, I'm pretty sure she was introduced in The Sims 2. I could be wrong. Um, that's where I mainly know her from. And in The Sims 3. 
But that's a whole different story and timeline and everything else that I would have to go through. <laughs> but basically, if you uh, made sexual advances or let's say you skinny dipped on a public lot or something like that, or you were kissing, just as simple as holding hands, she would come up to you and, uh, well, <laughs> whack you with her handbag. <laughs> um, she hates anything improper. She's not one for a canoodling in a public space, but um, she is a class character and they've got the outfit pretty much dead on to how she had it. So I'm happy that they've kept up her appearance. Oh, the building stuff. This little thatched cottage with, I did not even notice the bunnies. I think that's what they are anyway. On top, so beautiful. The little roof, gorgeous. The little farm, everything. The the little toadstool, the animals. We'll get to the animals in a minute. But this is a really cute building style. I know a lot of people are going to have fun building with this. I hope I will. I'm not the best builder, but this looks like a pretty easy small lot to do. So, you know what? Maybe I'll have a go. Maybe I'll build. Maybe. <laughs> Some more of the fashion. I love this. Just the way this whole farming setup is just looks incredible. The way he's watering the plants, the way they're sprouting. It just, it's so nice. This, this I was confused about. Llamas. I know people own llamas. Oh my God, there's other bunnies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought there was only the one bunny. There's other bunnies. But, um, <clears throat> Llamas are a bit of a funny one. A lot of people were asking for horses, which I think they could have done uh, minus the llama. It just seems a bit strange to include a farm pack and not include horses, but include a llama instead. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't really know what you can do with a llama other than possibly shave it, which it will get really mad at. And there's a chicken with a top hat and a sweater, which I also did not notice. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh, ah! Okay, either this is a real fox or this is just one of the um, dogs or cats from Cats and Dogs um, because the mesh looks completely different. I say mesh, the kind of texture that they both have. You can tell that's from the Cats and Dogs expansion. The llama even spits. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, you can grow pumpkins. I love this. Little eggs and you can hatch chickens, which, you know what? And you can milk a cow. A lot of this actually looks like it will be really interactive. It won't look like it will just be... Like you can go up to the chicken coop, like you could in The Sims 3 if you got the one from the store, go up to it and like talk to the chicken, but you never really got the chickens out. It just looks like it'll be a lot more interactive and you can act, uh, interact with individual animals on their own, which I think is a really nice touch on EA's behalf. Big cow. This kitchen set looks very, very similar to uh, the Country Kitchen kit. One th bone I have to pick about that is if you, they knew they were going to release a cottage living pack, why not just save the country kitchen pack for this pack? Like, to me, that just doesn't make sense. The kits in general don't make sense, as uh, <laughs> you may have heard me rant about in my kits review video. Uh, well, it wasn't really a kit review. Kit trailer review. We'll put it like that. Uh, which I will put up in the top right hand corner for you. If you want to go check that out, it also will be in the description. Oh my, wait, are you telling me kids can cook? Because if so, that's an amazing addition. Little buddy. <laughs> oh, I just, I can't. Looks like there'll be a little notice board. Okay, this is a really cool feature. I really like the fact... Let me just turn on the volume and play it whilst I'm talking. I like the fact that we'll be able to do, like... We'll be able to enter vegetables into competitions and stuff like that and win awards. And there'll be, like, these little, you know, things that take place. And I don't know whether you can do this or not. But if you can sing... 
And call the birds. Another amazing addition. Why, why wouldn't you want to have a fight with a chicken? <laughs> Oh, yeah, can we just let me. This llama is living life to the fullest, being blue and having his star glasses on. This one also has a little bow tie and the rabbits do as well. I swear to God, I'm going to dress my animals in some stupid things. But. <laughs> and then you can get bonus content if you buy it before September 2nd, which to say it comes out on uh, the. What was it? When does it come out? July 22nd. So that's actually quite a while away. Um, we're just on the 20th of June right now, which is kind of strange. They've released the trailer already. I'm assuming it has a lot of kinks and maybe some glitches that they need to work out. Or EA are actually taking their time. So when they do release it, it's not going to turn into a bit of a bag of shit like all the other expansion packs have done because they are basically unplayable. But yeah, um, available July 22nd, Cottage Living Expansion Pack. Uh, I like it, I do. And it's the first time I've actually been pre uh, very excited about The Sims 4. I don't get excited about The Sims 4 very often, but this has uh, made me slightly hyped and uh, I'm excited to see what it's got to offer. I will do a, maybe not a playthrough, but maybe I'll do one video of me looking through the content and stuff when I uh, do get the uh, expansion but if you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more don't forget to subscribe down below leave a like and a comment and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and i will see you guys next time